Hey, Master Gardeners, I'm out doing a hike this afternoon and the poison ivy is sprouting, so I thought it would be worth doing a little program on how to identify our wonderful native poison ivy. So that's Toxicodon radicans. It's coming up out of the ground here in a beautiful burgundy foliage. I am poison, I, I am prone to getting the rash, so you won't see me touching it, but three leaves let it be. Three leaves, three leaves on a vine coming up out of the ground. So once you learn that shiny foliage, it's pretty indicative that that's the enemy that you don't want to touch. This is poisonous in all seasons. So even when there's no foliage on it, and if you cut it and touch that sap and it gets on your skin, it's the sap that causes that irritation. And so if you're using soapy water and you get that oily sap off pretty quick, sometimes you won't get a reaction. You have to be careful because the residual of it on your clothing, if you have a member of your family that's also allergic to it, you can, they can contract it from the oils that are on your clothes. So you have to be careful about handling it, even the smoke of it. You don't want to inhale that. But another big indicator is the stems on the, as they creep up the tree, they hold on by adventitious roots. So here's some really old stems with these little hairy roots on them. And you never want to play with these vines, even though they're hanging in the trees. Sometimes children will feel an impulse to grab a hold of that vine. That is not one you would ever want to grab. And that many, many adventitious roots is a super indicator. But here's another native that's climbing the same tree. This is sort of the sister to poison ivy. This is Parthenocissus quinquifolia, our native Virginia creeper. And I'll try to open this leaf this one is not poisonous. It has five, one, two, three, four, five. That's why the species name is Quinquifolia. And it's another vine that climbs the tree, but it doesn't have those little aerial roots. Can you see them on there? Those little branched tendrils branching out and they cling and hold on to the tree. And this is a preferred native vine. I actually let it grow up over my, um, in my garage area. The birds love to consume the wonderful little berries that grow on it. This makes a blueberry, whereas that poison ivy makes a whitish berry covered with a waxy coating. But this is a delicious berry for the birds, an incredible fall color. Even though this is the same burgundy color and shiny like the poison ivy is, this turns into a solid green cover, color during the summer and the beautiful fall color makes it worth growing. I let it climb up all over top of my horse barn and you do get a residual foothold that stays on your wood and whatever it climbs, it leaves little feet behind, which you may not like. It can stay on there for years and years. But wow, Virginia Cre Creeper, one of my favorite vines to know. So Virginia Creeper and Poison Ivy, a little summary for you.